Hello guys, hope you have been having a very lovely day. If you are studying digital electronics, then this term is not new to you. Threshold gate. As the name itself suggests, it is something that is going to give a limiting value and it is going to base its output on the limiting value. So, to explain this, let me take you to those days when people used to say, don't cross your line, don't cross your threshold. So, the threshold gate works on a similar principle. It works on the principle that you give it a limiting value, say 35 or 3 or 2 or 1 or anything. You give it a threshold limit and it is going to give its output, which is either 0 or 1, based on the weights of the function. So to know uh, in depth about the threshold gate, let us do this. This is my gate. So, my threshold value is 2. And I'm going to give this 2 weights. I'm going to give it 2 weights which are, um, which are, um, let me give um, 1 and minus 2. Let me give, uh, not 1 and minus 2, let me give, um, let me give 4 and minus 2. So, the inputs are going to be x and y. So, the output function, which is four x minus two y so depending upon those values you're going to give to x and y remember you're giving binary values so depending upon those values if the output is two or more the threshold gate is going to return you with a one however if if the output is not exceeding one it is going to return you with its output zero so now let us look at its truth table So this is a small truth table I have formed on the left. So x, y, I'm taking 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So my function I have written on the top. It is 4x minus 2y. So in the first case, when the function value is 4x minus 2y, it is 0 minus 0 is 0. So second time, when it is 0 and 1, the value of the function is going to be minus 2. The third time, 4 minus 0 is 4. And the, fifth time, and the fourth time, which is the last time, is 4 into 1, 4, minus 2 into 1, 2, which is 2. A perfect example. So now, since our threshold limit is actually 2, think about it. When it is zero, the gate is going to give you a zero. It's not clear, is it? So, uh, when it is zero, the gate is going to return you with a zero. When it is minus two, minus two is less than two, which is your threshold limit. My, since that a minus two is less than two, the gate is still going to return you with a zero. In the third case, it is four, and four is greater than two. So, the threshold logic is going to be 1. And in the fourth case, 2 is equal to 2. So, still, it is going to return you with a 1. This is how a threshold gate works in your... So, designing a threshold gate is another video. And it is pretty complicated, but I'll be making one soon. Hope you understood how to how a threshold gate works and hope this helps. Thank you and have a lovely day.